Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Ultima 6. All right, let's uh, let's head out of uh, Lord British's castle. Move it. Thank you. Alrighty. So it's going to be nighttime, unfortunately. So I guess we better go ahead and cast. Uh, Great light. I do wish you could easily uh, rest in beds in, uh, um, like in the castle and stuff like that. Uh, I would rather just skip this whole nighttime part. It's one of the nice things about Ultima 7. You get a better roll. Just take it with you, take a little snooze, and it's daytime again. Alrighty. Well, we are going to head towards Minok now. Which is a little bit of a hike. Um, I suppose I could just Moongate there, but then it'll be... It'll still be nighttime, and... Um, hoping that by the time I get there, it'll be daytime. We'll see. Plus, I need a bit of a breather after that uh, um, encounter with the gargoyles. Jeez, that was a pain in the butt. Should probably f head to a. I'm not sure who sells yellow potions, actually. You know what? That's a good thing to check out while I'm uh, heading towards Minoc. First of all, here's the, uh... That doesn't help me much, actually. Kafiristan Pass? Alright, let me double-check something. I'll double-check to see which... ...path I actually want to take. Okay, yeah, I want to go through the pass. That's what I want. Let's go around the sign. Wander along this river's edge. This will head up this way. It should be not what I want. Is it going this way? Maybe it is. I can't remember. And my light spell runs out. Okay. Um, let me take a quick look at this uh, chart to see if I can figure out if anyone actually sells yellow potions. I don't think so. It's actually really annoying, you know? No, it doesn't look like it. That's annoying. I suppose I could have gotten horses. Ah, well. This is what we want. Here's the road. At least we got some nice traveling music to accompany us. Seeing the sights of Britannia as we wander along the roads. The lonely roads middle in the middle of the night. Kinda wish I had a pocket watch in this game. I wonder why there isn't one. Leave me alone, insects. Uh which there it is. There's the road. Thank you for not telling me exactly which way I want to go. I appreciate that game. I do. I do indeed. It is very nice of you. Alright. I think this is basically going to be Minoc now. Yeah. 
it is not quite daytime. Let's see, is that the sun coming up there? Nope, that's another moon. Let's rest for eight hours. I'll have Elmandretta guard. Everyone has food, always nice. And Iolo sings a tune. Okay, that was a little bit longer than I actually planned. Oh! Uh, you know what? Everyone's still on command, aren't they? Oh, I've rearranged equipment a little bit. You can be on rear. Rear. Let's go with assault. That's right. Uh, let's get you back onto assault. Let's just put you on uh, front, actually. That's good. Alright, I think we've killed him. see a woman of elegant demeanor wearing a finely embroidered dress. Ah, my lady Elmandretta, the famous avatar. I have heard much of thy exploits, but never expected to meet you in person. Tis indeed an honor. Oh, come on. If you've heard much of my exploits, then you should know by now that I have to visit every single town in the game, gather items, blah, 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 blah. Thus, you should know that I'd have to come and meet you. Silly woman. What is your name? I am Lady Isabella. Thy name, of course, is well known throughout the land. It is indeed, isn't it? Tell me more about my name. The tales of thy exploits are known even, known by even the smallest of children. I recognize thee from the portrait Woodruff made the last time thou came to our land. Uh, when did he have time for that? Well, tell me about Woodruff. One of the finest artisans that ever dwelt in Minnock. Alas, he died of the flu two years ago. Ah, uh, poor bugger. I pity that. What's your job here? Tis my privilege to be mayor of Minnock, the city of sacrifice. We are rena we are renowned for our fine craftsmen. Tell me about sacrifice. We were entrusted with the rune of sacrifice. What can you tell me about the rune? I gave it to Selganor, the artist's guild ma the artisan's guildmaster. Oh, what am I going to have to do for this guy? He's a fine musician. He lives just across the road from me in the guild hall. When the rune of sacrifice was sent to our city, I entrusted it to their care. Seriously, I need to really talk to Lord British about this. Keep the runes in one place so that when I come back, all they need to do is just open a box and say, Here you go. Is that so much to ask? If I weren't so busy, I'd take lessons from him myself. Oh, come on, you're a mayor. What could you possibly be doing? Aye, this, si this is a big city. Okay, fair enough. Um, what else did we sacrifice? Craftsman. The Artisan's Guild is located here. Okay. Uh, sacrifice. Room. Artisans. Eh, okay. Oh, actually, you know what? Mantra? The good he healer Tara should be able to tell you the mantra. Go ask at her house on the north side of, the s of town. Okay. I guess we will do that. But first... We have to see what's inside this door. On the other side of this door. It must... Ooh.
excuse me, I just need to, um, uh, change my cloak, yes. Woohoo! Yeah, since the game is not giving me the appropriate, uh, um, karma for clearing the shrines, I think I'm just gonna be hacking my, uh, my karma at some point. Um... You know, they, they put the, uh, option in the game, the, the cheat menu right in the game, so I might as well. Oh look, a locked door. Do-do-do-do-do. Oh dear, it's unlocked. Whatever shall we do? We'd better check to see if there's, uh, if everything is intact in here. You have a lot of dresses, lady. Yep, everything's good. Everything's good. Get back onto my map of the town. There we go. Okay, there doesn't appear to be anything else in this uh, building. Alrighty. Out of my way, guard. Hey there, buddy. Oh! I mean, lady. You see a plainly dressed bard. Hello, Elamandretta. Oh, you know my name, and you have equipment already. Hmm. What is your name? It's me, Gweno. You've been away from our realm a long time, haven't you? Ah, uh, yes, I have. I have indeed. What is your job again, Gweno? There's something that I should be remembering. Something, some kind of relationship you should have with someone else. Eh, it must not be important. Stop nudging me, Iolo. Iolo's apprentice has, my, has taken over my job at Iolo's Bows. These days I've been transcribing the folk songs of Britannia on, into numerical notation for the Artisans Guild. Oh, I remember this part. Of course, if you need my help, I could leave the guild for a time and join you. Sure, why not? Do you want me to come with you? Sure. You have enough traveling with you already. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right, what else? Uh, I guess I'll ask you about Iolo. Can you tell me about anything about this old fogey behind me? A bit scruffy, but he's the sweetest husband I could ever ask for. Ugh. Iolo says, You're only saying that because it's true. He gives her a kiss. Okay, apprentice. If you need a good crossbow, the shop is in Britannia, over by the Blue Boar. It's a lively place. Uh, apprentice Olo, songs, notation guild. Okay. What can you tell me about songs? The songs of the of the people are an important part of their heritage. I really wish I was not talking to you outside this uh, very annoying fountain. Putting them down on paper helps preserve our traditions for future generations. Traditions. I'm so glad you appreciate the value of tradition. I just asked you about traditions. I didn't say I appreciated them. All right, notation. A number for every note, and a note for every number. Okay, then what's the note for the number 6,143? You don't have an answer to that, do you? Get back to work. Each note is represented by, by one number. Okay. Yeah, this is just circular. Uh, what about the Artisans Guild? Selganor can tell you more about the guild than I could. Can you tell me anything about Selganor? He's the guildmaster. Can you tell me anything about the rune? Mantra? Nice talking with you. She's had more time to develop her musical talents than I... than I all these years. But after this quest, I hope to join her in Minoc and enter the Artisan's Guild. Okay. Bye, Gweno. I'm sure we will never need to talk to you ever again. Pardon me. Checking out the doors, checking out the rooms. Gotta make sure that everything's in working order. 
You see a sturdy woman with calloused hands and a loud manner who doesn't look anything like she ever looks in any other game ever. 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 Well, then the rumors are true. Tis well and good that ye've returned to our land, Avatar. What's your name? Name Julie, I am, my lady, and pleased to meet ye. Ah, oh, yes, woman that I've had my party and I don't know. Of course not. What is your job? Instruments I make the finest in the land. Not to be immodest, but I'm respected by all the guild. Ah, but give it up, I give it all up, I would, for a life of adventure like your own. Yes, because you've never been on an adventure before. Join ye? Me? Ah, uh, yeah, so apparently she has, like, a Scottish accent that I can't do. I can tell that you say that to everyone you meet. Okay. Uh, what was your job again? Do, do, do. Guild. If you'd like to be a member of the guild, too, talk to Selgenor. He's the guild master. I need some more water. Hopefully I won't spill on myself again. Success! I have made my roll. Um, all right. Yeah, for some reason she she doesn't seem to remember that uh, we've met before. I don't know why. Anyway, may fortune follow ye on thy way. I'm sure we won't need to talk to her ever again. No. Uh, yeah, but uh, if you want companions early in the game, Minoc isn't a bad place to go. You can get uh, um, Julia and Gweno, and I believe Gweno can cast magic. So she is a fair addition to the party. Alright, nothing to yoink there. A little bit disappointing. That was the wrong button on the mouse pad. On the keypad, or keypad, whatever. Anything in there? Nope. Hey lady, stop moving around, I want to talk to you. You see a kindly old woman. Welcome to my place of healing, Avatar. I hope thou dost... N I hope thou needest not my services. No, I don't. What's your name? My name is Tara. What's your job? I'm the healer for this town. I've cared for the unfit here for three score years. Unfit? Only sixty years, really? Those who need healing, curing, or to be resurrected. Um, I don't need any of that. Can you tell me anything about the mantra? Ka, that is the word of sacrifice. Ah, thanks a lot. You know anything about the rune? No. Okay. I want those. Oh dear, she's fallen asleep. We'd better go check to make sure that she's okay. Yep, she's okay. See, she's okay. Everything's good, everyone. We're fine. We're fine here. Anyway, yeah, I'm pretty sure that something bugged out on my uh, um, karma. There's no way that I am. I, I should be as low as I am. How did you get over here before me? Seriously. Alright, nothing in there. Uh, let's see what's in here. Absolutely nothing. Nothing! You so stupid! Ooh. What is that? That is a beehive. Neat. There's a lot of baskets. Oh, hello. Uh, excuse me. Don't mind me. Just gotta make sure that everything's, uh, working alright with the hinges on this chest. They are. Everything's good. 
We're good here. That's some hair there, lady. You see an industrious young woman. How can I help thee this fine afternoon? What's your name? I'm Michelle. Thou needn't tell me thy name, Elmandretta. The Avatar is famous throughout the land. Oh, good lord. Why can't I go anywhere and be unrecognizable? Oh, the life of a celebrity. I weave baskets and beehives just like my father and his father before him. My baskets are sold throughout Britannia. She adds proudly. Can you tell me anything about baskets? Would thou like to buy one of my weavings? Uh, that's okay. All right, though I can give... So I can give thou the best price in the land. What can you tell me about your father? Father once told me a story of weaving a basket large enough for eight people. Oh, hey! Large enough for eight people, you don't say. I wonder if we will ever need a basket large enough for eight people. Which just happens to coincide with the number of people we can have in our party. Hmm. He never showed me the plans, though. Can you tell me anything more about these plans? Yes, without accurate plans, it takes... Far too much time to craft a basket. Okay. Farewell, I hope I've aided thy quest. I guess so. Do 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 do. Ah, this must be the end. You see a stunningly beautiful young woman. The woman never looks up from the book she's reading, even when you speak to her. Yes, what do you want? What's your name? My name's Doris, but you can just call me Hey You. Hey You? That's a Mio song. Are you listening to it right now? Okay. Hey You. Everyone else does. Typical. <laughs> What's your job? I'm in charge of the Tinkerer's Inn while my father's away. If you have any complaint, no matter how trivial, please feel free to bother me. Doesn't really sound like she wants, like she means what she said. Right, let's see, father. Okay, father. My father called me back from the Lycaeum so that he could go fight the gargoyles. Uh oh. Yes, I'm learning the mystic arts from the great Zhao. Though I doubt you'd know much about that sort of thing. Oh, no, clearly not. Nope, nope, I don't know anything about it. Don't even bother looking at this uh, Armageddon spell I have right here, and if you don't stop bugging me, I, I will use it. She's the wisest mage in all Britannia. Pfft, not when I'm around. Only she can teach the spells of the greatest power. Yep, got them all right. Mm-hmm, that's right. Mm-hmm, she mutters as you leave. I'm glad you could help me there, lady. Get out of my way. Thank you. Aw, oh, the doors are locked. Nothing there. Don't mind me checking the locks, checking the hinges, making sure everything's working, everything's in proper working order. Making sure the, dra the drawers don't need oiling. Yep, everything's good. You're good here. Just the, uh, I'm just the Britannian, uh, door and, uh, hinge and drawer inspector and chest inspector. Where are you going? I want to talk to you. Jerk. Eh, ah, tools. Boring. An anchor? In a barrel? It's a barrel of anchors. Whee! Whee! I love these. So much fun. More stuff to look in. I guess this must be the shipwright. That explains the anchor in the barrel. No, actually, that doesn't explain the anchor in, a bar in the barrel. Nothing explains the anchor in the barrel. Why would you have an anchor in a barrel? 
Why is our torch just sitting on the floor? Six portions of meat, don't need it. Lots of cloth, flasks of oil, some weapons, nothing good. And the door is locked. Ships and skiffs, ooh. You see a tall, muscled man with a wide grin. Hello, he says, lumbering over to you and extending a large hand. What can I do for you? What's your name? Trevor. What's your job? Uh, oh, it's a puzzler? Yeah, that's because I meant job. I don't know where that T came from. I sell ships and skiffs. Good for you. So long, friend. He lumbers back to his work. Well, we can always stop by someplace and get you some lumber if you want. Oh, oh, oh. oh. And nothing good there. You see a young lad. A good afternoon to you, my lady. What can I do for thee? What's your name? My name's James, my lady. What's your job? I'm just the apprentice, but if you want to if you want to buy or sell something, I can help you. Who are you apprenticed to? My master went off to fight the gargoyles. He ain't been heard from since. Well, I think he's uh, dead just like uh, uh, Doris's father. Um, what can I buy from you? Be more specific. Yep. Arms. What do you have? Dagger, mace, main gouge, morning star, sword. Well, I could actually uh, sell stuff here. I ran back to... Uh, Lord British's castle. What about armor. Chain coif, chain mail, ring mail, scale mail, winged helm. Nah, I don't need any of that. And I don't have anything to sell right now. I do have. Unlock magic. <laughs> Just gotta check this uh this door, make sure oh, that's that's kinda lame. It's actually really lame. It's all you had? Man, it's not even worth ripping off. Uh, it's 4.30 in the afternoon. Hmm, I wonder if this could be a clockmaker. Excuse me. What is wrong with you? You see a spidery looking man with delicate hands. Hello. What's your name? My name is Troy. What's your job? I make clocks. The movements of very of the various parts are very complex and interconnected. Like the moons and stars or the pieces on a chessboard. Ooh. What can you tell me about chess? I like to play chess. Keeps my keeps one's mind fit. Really? Some people don't use theirs, but I do. You don't say. Clocks. The ticking of clocks is the pulse of civilization. Um, they're fairly recent to civilization, you know. Of course, the ticks would be useless without the talks. Really. They're much deeper sounding and more satisfying than ticks. Okay. You're, a odd per you're an odd person. Without clocks, people would just sit around uselessly with no idea what to do next. Somehow, I don't think that's accurate. What else have I not asked you? Oh, the moons. Ephemerides is going to build a model of the whole system. I helped him design the gear work that makes it go. Really? I know all about gears. He lives at the Lycaeum. It's a center of great... Okay, fair enough. If you didn't run around asking foolish questions all the time, you might learn something yourself. Can I buy anything from you? Yeah, apparently not. I would actually kind of like to uh, get a watch, but I guess there aren't any in this game. It's unfortunate. I actually don't think that, I, I, if I recall correctly, there really isn't any uh, point to this guy at all. I guess it's five o'clock. You see a short, barrel-chested man. 
A good afternoon to thee, Avatar. I'm Dale, the glass blower. Hmm, a glass blower. I'm sure we will never need to uh, um, deal with him ever. No. If you'd like to buy some of my glassware, just say the word. What do you have? Glass, jar, mirror. Nah, none of that. Forgot to ask a job. And that's... Okay. Hey. Locked? Locked? How dare it be locked? Let's pick it. Ooh, crystal ball. I like how people don't mind me, uh, um... Ooh, gems. Uh, I got enough gems. They don't mind me unlocking their stuff. It's just taking it that they mind. Ah, it's okay. You can unlock my chest. You can look through my, uh... Drawers and closets and everything. That's fine. I believe this is the last building to, uh, go to. Let's see. Uh, that's James. What is James doing here? That's Michelle. That's Gwenno. Where the heck is Selganor? Where the hell is Selganor? Uh, okay. Maybe he is visiting with the uh, mayor. Move it. Thank you. No. Salganor, where are you? This is still James, right? That's still James. Great, now it's nighttime. Well, shucks. Alright, where's my great light? Alright, well, actually, since we're out of time uh, for the episode anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode, and I'm going to look around for Selganor. When I find him, we'll, we will return in the next... Well, the I will return in the next episode once I have found him. I will hunt him to the very ends of the earth if necessary. He will be mine. He, uh, okay, that came out wrong. Ah, see you in the next episode.